जय हिंद स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड इंटीग्रेशन नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन हार्मोन एंड न्यूरो हार्मोन सो हार्मोन्स दे आर सिक्रीटेड बाय एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड एंड न्यूरो हार्मोन्स दे आर सिक्रीटेड बाय न्यूरो सिक्रीटरी सेल्स now coming to the second difference uh, the hormones they stimulate the growth and metabolism of endocrine glands and body cells neuro hormones they stimulate the secretion of hormones of pituitary gland now moving to the second question what are gonadotropics now these are the gonads stimulating hormone secreted by anterior lobe of pituitary now anterior lobe of pituitary it secretes many hormone as you can see for example follicular stimulating hormone prolactin thyroid stimulating hormone adenocorticotropic hormone luteinizing hormone now these are the few hormones which are secreted by anterior pituitary okay and in that the gonadotropic hormones they are only the follicular stimulating hormone and prolactin these are the two gonadotropic hormones now question number 3 why oxytocin is called as birth hormone now oxytocin causes the contraction of smooth muscles of uterus during the child birth so this is the reason why oxytocin is known as birth hormone now these if i ask you ki oxytocin is secreted by which part of pituitary then it is secreted by neurohypophysis as you all know neurohypophysis that is pars nervosa it is also known as posterior pituitary and posterior pituitary it releases two hormones the first as you can see that is oxytocin now the second hormone that is vasopressin okay so these two hormones uh, uh, that is uh, that is secreted by posterior pituitary okay now these hormones actually beta these hormones they are synthesized by hypothalamus these two oxytocin and vasopressin and then they are transported to neurohypophysis and then they act okay now coming to the next question question number 4 what usually can cause over secretion of parath hormone in human body list any two effects on the body because of this hormone now the tumors in parathyroid gland they causes the over secretion or hyper secretion of parath hormone so this is the reason okay now due to demineralization the bones become deformed and are easily fractured if untreated it can lead to osteoarthritis fibrosa cystica disease in human beings now this are the two effects on the body because of this over secretion of this hormone now coming to the next question what is the function of pineal gland now pineal pineal gland as you all know it is located on the dorsal side of fore brain okay and it secretes a hormone that is known as melatonin okay and it reduces this hormone reduces the reproductive activity it may also delay the sexual development in individual now there are other functions also uh, it also plays a very very important role in the regulation of 24 hour diurnal rhythm of our body jisko hum sleep wake cycle bhi bolte hain okay then uh, it helps in maintaining the normal rhythms of sleep wake cycle then body temperature okay these are also few of the functions which is performed by this gland now next explain the hormone of kidney and gastrointestinal tract now these are uh, this the heart kidney and gastrointestinal tract they also secrete 
few hormones which are which play a very very important role so among them kidney and gastrointestinal tract let's talk about now kidney are uh, the uh, the juxtaglomerular cells okay the ju the juxtaglomerular cells of kidney they secrete a peptide hormone and this hormone is known as erythropoietin okay and this hormone is stimulate erythropoiesis erythro what is erythropoiesis that is the formation of rbc so this is the function of the hormone secreted by kidney now gastrointestinal tract now gastrointestinal tract it secretes four major peptide hormone okay and these four hormones are gastrin secretin cholecystokinin and gastric inhibitory peptide now these are the four four important hormones that it secreted by gastrointestinal tract now gastrin jo hai it acts on the gastric gland and it stimulate the secretion of hcl that is hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen now what does secretin do it it acts on the exocrine pancreas and it stimulate the secretion of water and bicarbonate ions cholecystokinin that is the third hormone it acts on both pancreas and gall bladder and stimulate the secretion of pancreatic enzyme and bile juice okay so uh, these are the functions of the hormones which are secreted by gastrointestinal tract now coming to question number 7 in general how steroid hormones do affect changes in their target cells now steroid hormones they are lipid soluble as you all know they are fat soluble hormone so they quickly pass through the plasma membrane okay of the target cell into the cytoplasm as you all know plasma membrane is is made up of lipids and protein so are uh, these steroids hormones they are also lipid soluble so it is quickly transported through the plasma membrane of the target cell into the cytoplasm now there what they do they bind to the intercellular receptors protein and form a complex now this complex enters the nucleus and bind itself to specific regulatory sites on the chromosome now these binding changes these binding changes gene expression and stimulate transcription of same gene it may repress some other genes finally in rna acts for protein synthesis the lipid soluble hormones they are slow in action but they have a long lasting effect so uh, th this how this steroid hormones they affect the changes in the target cell now you have already studied about the uh, insoluble the hormones which are lipid insoluble hormone their regulation they act on a different way but they are fast in action but they are not long lasting so this is the major difference between uh, fat soluble and fat insoluble hormone now question number 8 what is corpus luteum how does it function as a endocrine gland now corpus luteum is the structure that is formed by a ruptured ovarian follicle after ovulation now it secretes a hormone and this hormone is known as progesterone and this hormone help in maintaining the endometrium lining which is very very necessary for the uh, for the implantation of the zygote also so you can say it uh, it controls pregnancy okay pregnancy ko maintain rakhta hai ye hormone now the last question name the gland that function as a biological clock in a body where it is located name its one secretion so that is the pineal gland function as biological clock in our body and this pineal gland is located on the dorsal side of the forebrain and it, let's talk about its secretion so it secretes a hormone that is melatonin so th this is all for today uh, these are the few questions now in next video i will discuss some five marks questions also so thank you everyone